A few days ago, I made this video about helium-3 mining, and I got a few comments that criticized this idea, stating that it would be better off if we focused on the Earth rather than the Moon. So I thought we would go through which one would actually be better for the environment rather than greedy corporate masterminds. So let's dive in. This is a design of a machine made by NASA that would mine the isotope. The soil is collected by the windmill thingy, deployed on the conveyor belt, and is dropped into the heater. It is brought to 700 degrees Celsius, separating the helium-3, allowing us to collect it. The soil would then be ejected out into the moon in the place where it originally was. So to all of you who thought that we'd be defacing the moon, that doesn't seem to be the case. And even if we didn't return the soil, helium-3 accumulates at a depth of 60 centimeters to 3 meters, meaning that we'd only scrape a maximum of 3 meters of the lunar surface. Now, I don't know if you realize, but compared to the size of the moon, that is essentially nothing. In fact, it's only 0.0001% of the radius of the moon. Alright, so you might ask yourself what would happen if we continuously mined the helium-3 to get renewable energy. And you know, that is actually a fair point. So let's see how that would affect the moon. There's approximately 660 million kilograms of helium-3 on the moon. If we somehow manage to mine all of it, Wikipedia says that it takes over billions of years for it to return to the current number. But you guys probably don't want me using Wikipedia, so I did the math, using scientific papers by NASA and generally accepted values. If you want to see the math, then I've linked the PDF of it in the description. However, it turned out to be that it would take 3.36 million years. That's without considering uncertainties or the fact that helium-3 doesn't stick to the soil as it can get blown away, meaning that this estimate is an absolute minimum. I wouldn't doubt that it would take billions of years, so it's safe to say that this will only be a one-time operation and not a source of renewable energy. And by the time the moon has been replenished, we'd probably have built a Dyson sphere by then. However, if we mined all the helium-3, it is thought that it will last us from 200 to 2400 years to power the entire Earth at the current energy consumption. So to the people who said that we better off focusing on the earth, well, if we got this to work, we'd have no need to burn fossil fuels for a minimum of 200 years. I'm sure mother nature would sigh a sigh of relief. That alone would help the environment. But as some of you stated, this will be a pricey project, and we still don't really have a good way of getting net positive energy. But my point is that this is merely an idea that has massive potential. So to all the people who commented like this, get these comments out of here and do more research.